Herbert Spencer, an English philosopher, biologist, anthropologist, and sociologist. He was famous for his hypothesis of social Darwinism. He stated that social organism is subject to evolutionary development. Likewise, society, like organisms, we spontaneously evolve. He included physical and biological evolution to explain the theory of social evolution. He explains that just like a seed grows to become a tree, an egg becomes a fully grown chicken, an ovum would also grow into an animal. So, does the society advance from homogeneous structures to heterogeneous structures? This change is displayed in the progress of civilization where a village becomes a city. He adopted his principles of evolution from the naturalist Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin develops the concept of evolution in his Origin of Species in 1859. Herbert Spencer used Darwin's theory and applied it to how society changes and evolves. To Spencer, societies were bound to change automatically. In his theory, he compared society to living species. He included three types of system where societies can be compared to organisms. Let's take a look at this. The system, animal, and society. Animals have a central nervous system. This is also like known as their brain. This controls and regulates the activities. It determines what they do and what they don't do. Now in the society, we have the government. The government detects what you do detects how you do it, and controls virtually every activity that goes on in the society. Also, animals have an area or a system that receives nourishment. This could be their stomach. This is what sustains them. But also in the society, we have industries. So people can go out to get jobs in order to get money and survive and be sustained in the society. Also, we have the veins and the arteries way to distribute blood round the organs of the animal. In the society, we have roads, transport systems, the internet that connects different parts together and help us to move from one place to another. So this is how he likened animals to the society. He went on to expound a concept of survival of the fittest by Darwin. And he argued that only the strong creatures will survive and evolve. Animals will have to struggle to preserve its existence. For instance, you have the giraffes. The giraffes have extremely long necks, which helps them to survive in the environment they find themselves. Because the trees keep growing and the giraffe has to survive, he has to keep growing his neck longer and longer in order to ensure that he can reach the tree to keep eating from it in order to survive. So... The giraffes whose neck cannot grow long enough will not have food to eat and hence they will eventually die off. Another example could be fishes in the sea. Fishes have to feed on other fishes to survive. And the other fishes or the smaller fishes will have to keep running for their lives as long as they can till they also grow to a stage where they are now big enough to eat other fishes in order to survive. Now, Bringing his illustration into the human society, if a man is sick and can no longer walk, then he should just die and go so that the society can move on, instead of stressing people to spend time, money, and resources in order to look after him. However, people criticize this theory that it lacks practicability, sympathy, love, and kindness, which are important for human survival. It is not realistic because people adapt and make changes in their societies to help them survive. A good example would be somebody who was born crippled. The society today has created a way in which these people can adapt by providing things like crutches, wheelchairs, and pathways where these people can actually get to be functional in the society. There are so many institutions today where you have staircases. They also have pathways that are being created for people with disabilities to also climb, which means that even in the workplace, they are accepted. The old man who no longer works receives pension to sustain him even after he has retired. As society changes and progresses, the features will change to adapt. Despite the critics, his work still remains a strong reference point and foundation to many research works today. According to Spencer, just like a baby is born and grows from adult stage 
to old age, so will the society move from the simple to compound society and also change from the militants to industrial society. If this video was helpful, do make sure you drop a like and subscribe. If you still have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. See you again in my next video. Bye for now.